We've got the boss. <laughs> the number one rider in freestyle motocross in South Africa. Dallin Goldman, Jungle Rush, FMX, I got that right because I did say the wrong track name. Actually, you are you have your setup at Terratopia, but yep. I, I, I was talking about the motocross track, Yeah. but actually everybody's been riding on your compound. There we go. I feel a little bit more relaxed now. I had Scotty here before, I had the boss. I was a bit nervous with the yep. boss, you know, Ryan here running this whole competition, but for you, riding here in South Africa, it's your home. This is what you do. We've now turned it up a notch at Monte Cassino. What does it feel like to uh, see this event grow from, 20, what was it, 2017 was the first one until now? Yep. What does this feel like? Hey man, it's, uh, it's pretty epic. Before I get into that, Steve, hey bud. <laughs> After all these years, we finally <laughs> get to oh, meet, I bud, eh? <laughs> After all these years, yeah. all the Instagram chats, we're finally <laughs> here, bro. So yeah, it's finally great to it. have you out here, man. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure so far. It's amazing to ride in Monte Casino. I mean, I was around uh, as a, just a little boy when they were building this place, you know what I mean? So I've, I've seen this place develop and uh, a big dream of ours is to, you know, come and ride here. So yeah, what an what a epic, uh, epic event Ryan has put on just grateful to be here and it's epic to have some international flavor too yeah i mean um oh, who's the guy from uganda i forgot his name already uh, stav stav yes yeah, stav orland yeah right stav orland from uganda okay. so there's already a bit of international flavor yeah julian van stippen x games gold medal <laughs> oh, man. best whip turns up like you would have been thinking all right it's down to me and scotty again i'm gonna take him this year and then julian just rolls in so he's kind of got a target on his back. Oh, like, man. you'll be going hard after Julian now. Big target, man. I, you know what? I know for freestyle best trick, he's got me. I'm still going to put on a good uh, good show for the crowd, but uh, once, hopefully once we get to the finals, I can start cranking it up. Well, you say that, but Julian won best whip at X Games on the 120 ramp. Yeah, true that. So there's no 120 ramp. This is only 75 foot. Yep. And I think that's like a bit of an equalizer. Like, it brings everybody back to that smaller gap yeah. and how comfortable you feel to throw it get upside down on it and when i was watching you out at the jungle rush compound man you were upside down that was sick cheers like, mine was just been a whip ah oh, sorry a backflip it was that good so this is going to be damn tight and what about the races actually man the races are thrown down dalton ricky raff um, Jesse Wright, you know, shame he took a bit of a spill earlier, but it's, uh, I don't think he's ever got it that upside down before. That's probably why, you know, but uh, props to him, uh, Dirko van der Vestes, and, and you know, there's a staff, there's a couple of boys here just really impressed me, actually. So for you personally, how is it with freestyle motocross here in South Africa? You're doing a lot of work, a lot of shows around the countryside, I would imagine. Yep. Do you get overseas an awful lot? Yeah, 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 I did. Uh, I actually just got back, I think, two months ago. I was um, out in California riding with uh, McNeil and Maddo and some of the boys, you know, and then uh, I had like five weeks of shows. I did some shows with uh, one of some up and coming riders, and then I did some shows with like the lights of Colby Raha and oh. some of the other big names, you know, so that was pretty sweet. How was it riding with Colby? Yeah, he shreds, dude. It's pretty, it's Man, pretty he rad. He came to uh, yeah Red Bull Dirt Diggers. Yeah, yeah. Such a cool dude, and nothing really phased him. He nah. just rolled in, stomped everything, checked out. He just makes it look easy. I'm not going to say he didn't care. I'm yeah. sure he cared, but he just made it look so easy. Yeah. What about Jared McNeil? How was oh, it riding with that dude? Dude, Jared is just the biggest legend I know, and his riding is just next level. Honestly, bro. When I we shredded his compound. I think I see more gnarly stuff there than, you know, half the other places I go to. So, yeah, McNeil gets it upside down, man. Speaking of the Aussies, yeah. you've got a pretty tight connection actually with Muggins, yeah. Braden Davies. So, yeah. tell us a little bit about that one. Like, you seem to do a fair bit with him. He comes here quite yeah. a lot. You're bringing him in, right? Yeah. So, what actually happened is, um, I think like 2017, um, I was just like, man, if I don't flip now, I'm gonna call it quits, you know, because I was coming up to like 25 years old or something, and I was like, man, I'm, I'm falling way behind in this game. 25 so. years old, mate, you're a baby at 25. <laughs> yeah, but when everyone else is doing the crazy stuff and I'm still stuck on the uprights, it was just like, you know, a bit heartbreaking. So, Braden and I had been chatting over social media for a couple of years, like us, you know, and uh, he was just like, I was just telling him my situation and he was like, hey, bro, pull up. I got a phone pit. I'll get you a bike. You got a place to stay. Let's let's make it happen, you know. 
and uh, yeah, I rocked up there, and I think within like three or four days, I went to do it. <laughs> I think I had a, I did eight flips one day and like seven the next. Flipped, uh, flipped uh, 55 feet a couple of times, and then we pulled it back to, I think it was like 78. Nice. So the Aussie Aussie 9.1 comps are a bit flatter though, than I'm used to. So. Yeah. Yeah, they are a little bit flatter. Then they're, they're nice to flip. Yeah, they're smooth, yeah. but they are. They definitely are flatter. I know what yeah. you mean. And then uh, yeah, we had a bunch of flight night events out here through Monster Energy, uh, where we used my setup and uh, you know traveled to a couple of different spots. And I was able to get Braden out here for a couple of those. And then after a while, we also brought out Ryan Brown and Jake Smith. So yeah, you know, that crew. Ryan Brown and Jake Smith. There's some. There's some talent big, in those big, two. Well, big plus, time talent. Plus Muggins, man. Like True, Muggins is like one of the gnarliest riders I know. Super underrated, I feel. Yeah. Double flips, flares, tsunami flips, tsunami indie flips. Uh, flips off that tower to the bag. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that one. Freestyle King show. Insane. 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 Yeah. So, yeah, shout out to Josh for putting on those events because that's epic. Bro. Hopefully we can get to, to some sort of a level like that out here. Mate, that's what I'd like to see. Well, I better let you get going, because like I said, we're about to start this show. People are rolling in. We've got 5,000 people. Maybe they don't even get in here before. Like, we might have to push this back. I think so, man. I know that uh, we jam-packed from the entrance to the other side of the entrance of the casino. So. Oh, shoot. This is a big oh, area. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm going to let you go. Cheers, mate. Good luck. I hope you uh, throw down tonight. Maybe we see you at Night of the Jumps. Get Hell Team yeah. South Africa. Man, we would love that, dude. Let's in make it for, happen. Uh, in for the big events over there. There we go. And if not that, these whips should put you on the map for maybe next games. Hope so. Invitation in the future as I, well. Got to, got to see what happens with me and Julian first. <laughs> uh, take Julian down this time. There'll be an invite, I'm sure, coming from next games. Hope so, bud. Fingers crossed. Thanks, man. Cheers.